What is up, guys? Yes, it is one month on since I did the uh, initial demo review of the Papa Hetfield Hardwired Master Core Strings by Ernie Ball. And someone left a comment saying, you kind of can't really determine by just playing once. You kind of need to have some time with them. And I thought that's a great idea, my friend. So shout out to you. Um, <clears throat> so one month on, it's been about a month since I did the video. And I've been playing with them on my Flying V. And uh, so let's just let's just talk about it. One month on, what's the deal with these strings? Eleven to fifty, James Hetfield signature master cores. And here's what I have to say. So initially at first I was like, "Yep, they're cool. You know, they feel good. They sound good." One thing as well, they've held tuning like these four weeks. They've just I've really not tuned at all. They've held tuning and they still feel really, really fresh, which is quite surprising because I play quite a lot. So for it to still feel kind of fresh and new, I'm quite surprised about. And a few things that I learned about the strings that I didn't know first because I'd done the video before the launch date. And then when they were launched, there was the full kind of video of Hetfield put out where I actually learned more about the strings. Um, and it's all about the core of the strings. And what's really good is the the, the heavy core. There's kind of... You've really got that clarity, even with like a 50 on the bottom, there's still a lot of clarity. And as I said, they still feel really fresh. They hold tune in like a motherfucker as well. Like really, like I said, never really got out of tune with them. Um, would I, again, would I use them as my sort of everyday guitar string? Probably not. Uh, I like the power slinkies for my E flat kind of stuff. But... They, they are cool. The, the, the science behind it of what they've done, I think, is very awesome. And again, one month later, they're still absolutely rocking. So I did get a few people asking me, like, well, where can I get them from? I can't find them anywhere. I can't get hold of them. I believe there was only, like, a limited run of them made, especially in the UK. There was only a certain number of sets that were made of them. So I don't think they're going to be, like, an ongoing thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I did read in the UK they're quite limited. Price-wise, a lot of people were saying they are quite expensive, which I get, okay, it's a signature set. I mean, you get a cool tin, you get three sets of strings in the tin. Um, I got one on here, I got one left in the box, and I actually gave one away in a giveaway to one of my subscribers, which is cool. Um, but yeah, again, the price it is, it was, it is a little bit high. Um, but I mean, there's loads of you that I know. Someone commented he's got like five tins of them which is awesome. But as, as they go on their own as strings, they are just, they are really good. And again, what I've noticed from using them since the first video is what Hetfield says is it makes you work for it because there is that little extra bit of tension, especially in E flat, it does make you work. And I found that every time I picked up this V, it does make me work when it comes to the, the gallopy gallopy riffage stuff. <laughs> Also, another thing people were asking me is about tuning. What tuning? Because people think that this is a little too thick to have in uh, half a step down. Some people were even saying standard. I wouldn't put these in standard. I mean, I think I said that in the first video. But in E flat, they, there is a little bit of tension there, but it's not too bad. And again, it makes you work. It really makes you dig in and really kind of like go for it, which makes it exciting and fun, especially for me, the way I play, the kind of playing I like, it really makes you work, which is awesome. And you could also drop these down to like a whole step down, so D standard, so like for your sad but true stuff, you can pop it down. I guess Hetfield's covered really with one gauge of string. Um, obviously, unless they do the any of the St. Anger stuff. But for like the normal kind of songs and, you know, Sad But True and that, one gauge fits all. Just notice the pick I'm using isn't the pick I wanted. 
<laughs> you flimsy fucker. Anyway. But yeah, guys, one month on. So thank you to the guy that mentioned about having some time with it and then making a kind of decision about them. So it's got the durability. It's got the lifespan. Shelf life, lifespan, whatever. They last. They hold tune in as well. Again, I've never really gone out of tune. Um, so one month on, if you are in the market for some Hetfield strings, if you can find them, Go for it, because they fucking rock. So guys, if you haven't seen my first video of the Hetfield Master Core Strings, I did a sick demo with them. Go check it out. It'll be linked at the end of this video. One month later, if you've been using them, let me know your thoughts on them. Since you've been using them and since you've been pounding away and with your heavy, dirty rafar. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button. Come hang out for all things Metallica, all things guitars, all things riffage, all things having a good fucking time. Love Ernie Ball. As always, rock out. Be awesome, guys. And I will see you in the next. See ya!